Esteban Castro. I'm Esteban Castro. Uh, I'm 19 years old, currently uh, going to be a junior at the Juilliard School, and I'm originally from New Jersey. Um, yeah, of course, I play the piano. <laughs> Kind of depends on the day, but uh, I would say, you know, when I'm in school, get up, um, go to class. I have kind of classes like scattered throughout the day. Last year I had you know, 9 a.m.s on Tuesday and Friday. So, you know, I'd get up at like 8 a.m. I'd go get breakfast and then, you know, go run to class. <laughs> uh, it was music history with Professor Schoenberg was the class. Um, and that was generally really interesting. and. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd go back to my, my dorm room and, uh, you know, try to get some practice in in between classes. Um, you know, go back, practice some more. And then depending on what was going on, you know, try to go out, you know, to the, to the clubs and go to sessions or go to whatever gig I'm doing that night. So today I had a rehearsal for this gig I have um, coming up tonight. I'll be performing with this, uh, this wonderful tenor player called Birsa. I've been playing with him for about a year now. Um, I actually met him in Jazz House too. It's funny, I've met a lot of people <laughs> in Jazz House. Yeah, he's a wonderful, wonderful, young, you know, up and coming tire player. It's really great music. It's gonna be mostly, mostly original music with a, a couple standards mixed in in there. It kind of blends jazz with, with uh, concepts um, introduced in like Indian classical music as well. There's a song called Noyon, which is originally a, a song by this uh, Indian playwright Tagore, um, and uh, he, he arranged that for for a, you know for a quartet, and uh, that's always a really fun uh, tune to play. And I've definitely learned a lot about. I've just you know learned uh, different perspectives about music playing with that group. It's a really fun group to play with. to me since we were young kids and I've been playing with him since he was wearing glasses this tall polo shirt pants way too big for him um, then I knew him when he had braces did you have braces or something like that I mean uh, at that age at that awkward age and um, he's just grown into this, such a great friend of mine and uh, I just love playing music so much with Esteban and we're gonna play one of his songs called Chorale, but I would be remiss to say that there's someone filming here today from the American Pianist Association because Esteban over here, give, it a, give a hand for Lee. Yeah. Esteban has been selected as one of the five pianists in the entire world to represent his instrument in this great competition that's gonna, it's gonna be a year, he's performing all around the world. Uh, with some of the best pianists, and it's one of the most prestigious awards one could ever get. So, give a round of applause. I'm sure when you hear him, you could tell, but this is Esteban Castro's song, Corral. We rehearsed today at, at uh, MSM, Nat School of Music, um, just for a couple hours. I mean, we've played most of the tunes that we're playing already at, at different uh, at different gigs. So we were kind of just refreshing the material. Um, we're, we're, we generally like to save it. It's very intense music. Um, you have to be very focused. You know, after, after a gig, it, it feels great, but it, it's like almost like a, you know, it's like when you're done working out at the gym, it's like you feel great, but you, you know, your, your body is tired. So it's kind of a similar thing. 
So in the rehearsals, we, we go very light. We rehearse the melodies, we take solos, but we're not really giving it our all because we want to save that energy for the, for the actual performance. I think it's going to be great hearing everybody else and I mean I, have, I already think I've learned a lot just by hearing uh, the other four competitors at Dizzy's and at the Yamaha Artist Center. Um, it's really inspiring to be in that, in that company um, and uh, I really love, uh, you know, I've, I've been a huge fan of Cecile for a while now. I've, I really love her music. I think it's great um, and so when I, when I heard that she was going to be <laughs> the singer for for that final event, I was really excited because I, I, you know, I'm a big fan of, of hers. Um, so I, I think that's going to be a wonderful experience working with her. Of course, the uh, the you know playing with the orchestra and, and having an uh, you know an arrangement kind of specifically tailor made to my playing. I've never done something like that before, so I think that's also going to be going to be great. But just overall, I'm just looking forward to you know being in Indianapolis. I feel like I learn a lot whenever I hear, you know my peers play, you know, people who have just different concepts in me, different ideas in me. And I think I, I, I just always learn a lot from that. So that's just the main thing I'm looking forward to seeing everybody put in the same context as me, but, you know, tackling it in completely different ways. And uh, I think that there's just a lot to learn from that. So regardless of the results, I'm not really um, as, I mean, I'm not expecting anything. Let's just say that. I, mean, I just want to be, a, you know, force for for good. I want to be a, you know, good person to be around. I, I, I want to do good things. I mean, it's it's hard to see where I'm going to be when I'm I'm 29. You know, there's so many possibilities, but I just want to be playing as much music as I can. Mm -hmm.